In this AYM for Training video, we're going to learn how to make green beer for St. Patrick's Day. Happy St. Patrick's Day! And what's St. Patrick's Day without green beer? So I wanted to show you how we can make some green beer happen non-destructively in Photoshop. First thing I want to do is make a selection of this beer. And I'm going to start out with one of my favorite little selection tools. Right here, I have the quick select tool. And the quick select tool allows me to reach inside an area and drag over a set of colors that I want. And as you can see, if I'm very careful with my edge, I can get a really nice selection of this portion of the beer. Now I can also alter this selection and there are a couple of things that I want to do. For one, I want to make sure that I don't have the whites in this area, but rather I'm only changing over the golds. In order for me to do that, now that I've made a general selection, I'm going to make my selection more specific. If I go up to the Select menu and choose Select Color Range, when I click inside this jar, you'll see that it selects just that range of colors that I've picked. Now you have to be a little careful here. I'm actually going to work with a smaller fuzziness level, which means it's reduced the range of tones that I'm selecting. And I'll use the little plus sign and drag over all the gold tones inside my image you'll notice that it's starting to exclude those glassy areas. I can even, in this preview, click over, oops, I'm going to hold down the Alt or Option key and change this to Reset and be a little bit more careful about my selections now. But as you can see, as I reach inside here, it's being more specific about what I'm selecting. I'm also going to reach down in the bottom here with a much lower fuzziness and try and select that beer down at the bottom as well. Now I may be seeing stuff coming out here but as you notice I have an active selection which is going to keep the remaining selection just inside the initial selection. When I hit OK you can see the marching ants surrounding the areas that I want to work on. Now I don't have to be too specific here for right now because I can alter the effects of this adjustment pretty easily using layer masks. Right now I'm going to create an adjustment layer that's going to allow me to basically overlay green on this. This will allow me to use green as my color, but it's not going to change luminosity levels. So you're going to be able to see the lightness and darkness of this particular image. For me to get to the hue and saturation, I'm going up here into my adjustments panel and I'm going to choose this icon. You can see that when I hover over this icon, the words over here become hue saturation and it creates a new layer with a mask that allows me to only apply the effect to the area that's white on the mask. I'm going to hold down the Alt or Option key just so you can see what my mask looks like. And then I'll go back to this. Now from here I could actually drag my hue slider and just sort of wiggle all the way around the color wheel until I've got an area that I like although it's a little hard to determine where you're going to be. You'll notice even if I'm in the green area, I'm not turning my color green, and that's because the original color of that beer was a lovely beer gold. Instead, I'm going to hit Colorize. Colorize gives me a much more accurate view on this color wheel area. Let me zoom in just a little bit so you can see what I'm referring to. You see how this becomes like a color wheel? So once I get myself to the green that would be the light Kelly green of green beer, 
I can now also increase my saturation. Oh, that's pretty green, huh? I think I'll darken that up just a little bit. Now we're looking a little bit more like St. Patrick's Day beer. You'll notice that there are a couple of small issues with what I've done. For example, it's missed areas. But for that, I'm going to simply paint while I'm focused on the layer mask of the layer. Using a paintbrush that's reasonably small, if I want to have the green show up right down here, I'm going to make sure that I, my foreground color is white, which allows me to essentially paint the effect right on my, my beer. And I'm going to go inside here, make a couple of other little adjustments in here. I'm going to use the right bracket key on my keyboard to sort of increase this brush size so I can paint inside here. I can adjust my edges by painting. I can also use some mask adjustments, which we'll learn in a later class, to be able to smooth that out. And I'm thinking that's looking pretty good. That looks like green beer, except for the head. The head is still showing the reflection of the gold beer. Well, for that, I can use my paintbrush. But up here, I can actually choose to lower the opacity of the paintbrush. And I'm going to bring that down. Oh, I don't know. That looks like a good number. And I'm going to make a nice, big, soft brush. I can actually reach inside here and choose the level of hardness as 0. And I can alter my size of my brush, dragging this. Or I can use my brackets. And with my soft brush, I'm just going to kind of lightly paint over these areas. It's sort of an additive effect. And you can see that I'm turning the gold reflection into sort of a green. Now, if I wanted to get real specific, I could go into the bubbles. I've got a green beer. Now, to change the effect on the beer bottle, I can't use the same exact color setting. By the way, I'm going to use Shift and click this mask. You can see the effect on everything in the image. That sort of blocks the mask. And I don't want to use the exact same green setting on this bottle, although I could. I have a pre-saved selection here. I'm going to go to Select Menu, Load Selection, and choose my channel, which I named Bottle Beer. And you'll notice it's just the beer portion of this bottle. I'll make another hue saturation layer and hit colorize. Get this over into the greens. Now, this would be a slightly different color because it's in a bottle. So I'm going to pick a different tone of green. Saturate it up just a little bit more. Darken it down a bit. So you can see I'm getting a very different effect. So as you can see what this mask look like, looks like, I'm going to hold down Alt and Option, and you can see what my mask looks like for the beer bottle. So I've changed the look of my original pixels, and my original pixels really have never changed. But I'm overlaying green on them to wish everybody a happy St. Patrick's Day. Thank you for watching this AYM for Training tutorial. We hope you found the video informative and helpful and that we taught you something new. AYM for Training offers instruction in a variety of formats. For more information, please visit our website at www.aym4training.com.